Hi and welcome to this guide on how to set up Mix and connect it to your online radio station. So to get started we need to be on mix.org and then click the download button. Now it's actually free and it's available for Windows, Mac and Linux machines but for this guide we're going to stick with Mac OS X and we're going to run through the installation and connect online. So once we've downloaded the file we just need to unpack it which we're doing right now it's a .dmg and then grab the mix application and drop it in our applications folder where it'll live and then once it's copied over we can just go ahead and get it open which we'll go ahead and do now and um, once it's good to go it should look something like this so we've got all our files in there already and we've got a few DJ decks and there's a bunch of other features as well you can play about with later on but for this guide we're gonna really focus on how to how to just initially set it up and connect it to your online station so to do this we need another component and um, something called a um, lame mp3 encoder now you can get it on this web page which we're on here now and um, which we'll put a link in the description and if you just click on the download link which we're doing right now we can just go ahead and grab a copy of it now for those that don't know the lame mp3 encoder basically talks to the online to a radio station something that mix doesn't have by default which we need to get it's essentially an add-on so um, once we've once we've got that and we've we've installed it, um, we just need to run through the installation with a wizard to to do this, and then it'll forever be on our on our system then. So we don't need to worry about it. We don't need to touch this later on. So um, so that will be a feature that's just added onto Mix now, and then once we're um, done that, we can grab a bunch of our our tracks and let's just place them in the different DJ decks. So we've got some music lined up for, for later on when we connect to our station. So we've got a bunch of tracks there, ready to go. So we've gone over to mix press preferences. This is where our this is where we where we put in our information for our radio station. Now on the sound hardware, um, if you go onto the input um, button, you can actually add your microphone. Um, you can add a bunch of microphones if you want to. So we've just gone ahead and done the first microphone. So then we need to go to the live broadcasting section, which will put our information in for our online radio station. Choose Shoutcast 1 for type, and then we need to put in our host, part, and password. Now if you're with radio.co, you can just grab all of this from your dashboard, like we are doing right now. I mean, it's all set up. Um, tick the US, uh, use UTF-8 encoding for metadata, which is what we'll use to send our track information. And we're pretty much ready to go now so we have everything lined up so we just need to hit play and then our music's going go to options enable live broadcasting and then we get a notification to say that yes it's been connected and now our stream is actually pushed to our our online radio station so it should take it shouldn't take that long it should take about 10 20 seconds to connect and you should see a confirmation so there we go dj on air our track information has been pushed as well and that's it we're broadcasting now and you can also talk as well by clicking the talk microphone button and that's all there is to it it's really simple to get up and running with mix now if you're not already with radio.co you can give us a try for free if you go to try.radio.co or if you've got a bunch of questions about how to get started or you just want to talk to us then head on over to radio.co forward slash contact